Coming out, let's take a look at the AUSP Jellybean RC1 by the Macro. Hey guys, this is Aaron, and today I'm going to be doing a round review of the Macross AOSB Jellybean RC1, the Android 4.2.2 Jellybean on the Galaxy Ace GT S5830. First of all, this ROM will only works on GT S5830 phone model. It's not working on other devices. Please do not ask me the same question in a comment. If I see it, I will totally ignore your comment. This is the best jelly bean ROM ever and why I'm saying this is the best jelly bean ROM. Now you guys probably will ask me, Sanjomod 10.1 and AOSP, which runs better? Well, definitely AOSP ran faster than Ace, but that doesn't necessarily mean Sanjomod 10.1 ran slower. But in most cases, AOSP ROM do run faster than Sanjomod 10.1 since they don't include the extra stops. Probably the most common question I guess this day is, What's the best ROM for Ace? What ROM do you recommend? Now, I will definitely say the AOSP. Now, probably you guys will ask me, what is AOSP? Well, AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project. So basically, AOSP refers to Google's Android operating system. Same thing you found in the Nexus 4. AOSP ROM may be better than non-AOSP ROM such as the Sanjo Mod. However, Sanjo Mod based on AOSP 2. It offers features and options that are not found in the official firmware. But that all depends on your preferences. Personally, I'm still rocking my Ace with AOSP. That's always advantageous to run AOSP or non-AOSP and it just depends on the situation. My advice, try both AOSP and Sanjo mod for a week and decide it yourself. Let's go back to the ROM, and let's talk about the bugs in this ROM. The camera app still not working perfectly, it offers false close when you take a picture. Simply hold your finger anywhere on the screen while the camera is open, and you're present with a simple easy access menu of scenes and modes. No photos were working on it, you know, this is an ARM V6 processor. Camcorder works very smooth, but it will only record in 320 by 240 pixels. The gallery aren't shows of photos and videos, but I personally replaced the stock gallery with Quick Quick Gallery, which is available in Play Store for free. Google now is also not working on it. I mean, you can open it. Yes, it shows the location history, email history, search history, and calendar to figure out exactly what you may be looking for and when you will need it. But you can't use the voice command on it. The pre-dated keyboard works very well. Can't figure what words you want to type, even your fingers are not hitting on the screen keys directly. Just by the grammar, L of your sentence and built-in dictionary. Unfortunately, the gesture typing features isn't working on Ace. Probably it will only works on high-end device. So these are the box, and I'm going to talk about the battery life. It's almost 16 hours right now, and the battery still lasts 50%. Maybe because I don't use it much, just stay the phone in sleep all the time. Quite good battery life for me, but still not as good as the Galaxy S2 JB ROM V11.2. Turning to the browser, with a multi-tab browsing engine you can view it. Jump between multiple windows and you will feel it's a little bit slow. The browser is still not the perfect option. If you notice a small overlay widget on top of my status bar, it's a memory management to boost up your Galaxy A's. Not just Galaxy A's, you can install on whatever Android devices. Just check out my previous video.
Let me show you how to make your phone feel faster. It's an animation when you open up the certain menus like we are going to settings. That's an animation. You can actually speed it up. And the way that you do it is enable the developers option for the first time. Go into settings, about phone, and tap the build number for 7 times. So once that enabled it, go into developers option, scroll down and you will see some animation stuff. You can also turn off the animation too. So to speed up, you will need to change the windows animation, transition animation and animator duration still to 0.5x. So that means that is the fastest animation. And now, it looks a little bit snappy here than the original default animation settings. Alright, that's pretty much my ROM review of the AOSP Jelly Bean RC1 by Micro. So thanks a lot for watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button if you like my video, and I will see you guys in my next video.